Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Well, uh, today's video is just really a little catch-up video on a few things that I have finished. And, um, yeah. <laughs> So grab you a cup of coffee. Um, my cup today says make things happen. And um, so yeah, that's what guys, that's what we need to work on is make things happen. Uh, I'm drinking caramel, Starbucks caramel coffee this morning. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, well, I guess I'd like to say thank you to all of the new members to my channel. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And thank you to all the subscribers of my channel. Um, I just couldn't do this without you guys. And um, I'd just like to say thank you for all the comments and stuff that I'm receiving. Um, I'm loving them. And they are so encouraging. And I appreciate that very, very much. Okay, so what I did finish is, you know, um, I have the, let's see, booties in a basket crochet along going on. I have not made my basket yet, but I did pull out my colors for it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a fluorescent bright basket. So let me show you the booties and then, um, well, the colors are the same, so... Here we go. I'm using an eye hook for the booties or slippers. And so I made me a pair last night. Now on camera here, they do not look that bright, but these are really bright. So, <laughs> um, I'm using a peach. It was just some leftover yarn um, that I had. And I think there might be enough in this to, um, well, I don't need to make another pair. I'm making the basket now, but I do have a whole skein of this uh, for my basket. And then this right here is Big Twist Coral. I had several of these and I've had them for a while and they're just really bright, but on the camera here, looking at it, they don't look that bright, but they really are. It's um, perfect for if you're doing under, under the water type plants and things like that because this color would be perfect for that kind of project uh but anyway it's called coral well i'm going to make my basket in these same colors <laughs> but what i'm going to do is um i did make a basket for someone and i will include a little video clip of that where the bottom part is like three strands of this two strands of this and then Let's see, the main color, yeah, so two strands of this and one strand of this. And then when I get a little bit more than halfway up on the walls of the basket, I switch to two strands of this and one strand of this. So the bottom half is a little darker than the top half. And uh, so it kind of gives it an, like an ombre look. So let's take a look at that. And that's the same way I'm going to be doing this basket. So here's my newest basket I just finished. I used two colors on this, a teal and a white. And what I did is on the bottom part, uh, I believe for the first, let me get my notes here, guys. Um, for the wall, I did 14 rows of two teal colors with one white. And then when I got to row 15 through 20, I did two white and one teal. And then um, I did my handle right there so those are the colors that i used for that um i'm using an l hook a 8.0 i used two of these i love this yarn and uh the color is teal let's see how many yards were in this yeah 200 252 yards and I used two of those and that's what I had left and on the white I used about one and a half on this one um, and it's just called white but um, yeah that's my newest basket oh and what I did uh, to make the because this yarn's a little soft what I did is to make this stand up like this um, I got a tip from my sister Tanya she said that when she makes these 
each single crochet that she does, she pulls the strands of yarn and tightens it down on her hook. And then she makes another single crochet and then pulls to tighten and then another single crochet and then she pulls the, the three strands and tightens them. Um, and that really helped because look how good that is standing up. This is definitely sturdy. Look at that. I mean, and this is a bigger size. I did 12 rows on the bottom, which normally we do 11, I think. Anywhere between 9 and 11. And I did 12 on this one. It's going to hold some little um, books for kids in it. It's what it's going to be for in a uh, classroom. Okay, wasn't that really cool? I love the way that basket turned out by just dropping a strand and adding another strand, but yet it's the same two colors. Um, let's see. And I actually, if I was working on something else, I think it would be really cool if, um, like, even if I went into dropping the, since I dropped one of the teal colors and went into white, that if I went a little farther up or changed it up to where the, what the uh, two teal colors weren't as tall, you know, th that a little bit shorter and then go into the two strands of white and then even top it off like being a solid white. That would have looked really cool too. So anyway, that's just um, something I'm working on and trying to give my baskets a little different look. Okay, so the next thing that I have is I did finish um, a square over the last couple of days for the ugly throw. So let's take a look at that. So this is the squares that I have so far for the ugly throw. And as you can tell, see, I'm just throwing cut solids with variegated yarns. Um, I'm really trying not to match. So that's what it's looking like so far. And these two right here are the two that I just recently finished over the last couple days. I'm trying to make one square a day and I'm not really sure exactly how many I plan on making. Uh, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got a total of thirteen right now. Um, let's see, that's thirteen. So I probably want to make somewhere around sixteen and see how that's going to look. Okay. Um, I just, I'm having so much fun with this throw. Uh, this is going to be a Christmas gift to my daughter. Uh, she's asked for one of these ugly throws. And um, so I'm making her one and I'm just going to do, try my best to do like one square a day. So uh, the booty's in a basket. Um, it's just a crochet along, you know, that will probably end on around Christmas. And we're basically, you can make a basket as a gift for someone, or you can make a basket for yourself and then turn around and make yourself a bunch of these slippers so that you'll have slippers all year long, or at least that's what I'm doing. But they will also make perfect Christmas gifts too. Um, you know, you can make someone that in your family that you love, a friend or something, you can make them a basket and uh, put in a few pairs of slippers in there for them. So, it, you know, we all win-win <laughs> with this. Everyone gets, you know, if you're giving it as a gift, someone gets something really nice. If you want to give it to yourself, you get something really nice. Um, I am totally out of slippers. So, that's uh, one reason why I'm doing this is to stock back up on my slippers. Uh, so far, I've made two, and this is my third one. Uh, the other two I didn't show because I've already got them in the wash, getting them all nice and soft and everything, and... Um, so, and I just finished these last night. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I'm working on, well, what I'm working on for the weekend is going to be a mixture of two things. Both of them are going to be my Annie's kit. One of them is the Moroccan towel kit. Um, I did not bring this in here, but I will show you an update on it Monday. Um, the one that I did, the Christmas one, I was just going to basically show you. I did get three colors of yarn in. And I believe this is coming to me every two weeks. But Annie's is um, sponsoring this right here. And um, I just need to make it up, show you guys, and tell you my thoughts and things like that. And I am having so much fun. Thank you, Annie's, for uh, sending this to me. And I am really, really loving this. So this is where I'm at so far, uh, if you have not seen this in one of my previous videos. 
That's what I've got. And then I will be adding these three colors up here. So they're basically sending you three stripes. You can have it every two weeks or you can choose to have it monthly. And of course, they want mine done by Christmas. Um, and so I'm, I've got mine coming every two weeks. And um, I am just loving this. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I will leave a referral link in the description box below if you're interested in either one of these kits. I believe right now it's 50% off your first order. Um, oh, and then the yarn is um, Premier Anti-Peeling Yarn. So it's very good yarn, um, which you will love. My Moroccan Throw, I'm going to show that to you uh, probably Monday. Well, I know I'll show it to you Monday. But I have a lot of yarn left over. I'm on the um, home stretch on that. I'm just working around the border and I'm done with it. So I will show that to you guys Monday. And um, I was really surprised at how much yarn is left over. I really did not expect <laughs> to have any. <laughs> and I'm going to show you that they come with these. And in your account, you can also download this to your computer from your account. And print it out if you want to or just keep it on your computer so like when I'm working on it if I see a part of a stripe that I'm not quite sure I might be doing right what I do is I go to my account and I go to the video and I watch the video to see how they're doing whatever it is that you know I want to double check and make sure I'm doing right I go to the video and watch that so that's one of the reasons why I love these kits so much is because not only do you get good quality yarn and projects to work on but you also get a pattern that's in your account forever and you get a left and right handed video tutorial which you just can't beat that guys okay let's go do uh, our 365 days of prayer burning joy go your way eat the fat and drink sweet wine and send portions of them to those for whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's Nehemiah 8.10. Lord, your gracious mercy is always enough. It provides exactly what I need when I need it. In you, I find my greatest joy. I can't help but be overflowed with delight when I consider your faithful love in my life. When I have plenty, may I rejoice in abundance and give away more than I keep to myself. When I have little, let me be filled with the joy that I have what I need. Look how you provide. Why would I worry about tomorrow when you so graciously give all that I need today? Lord, may I grow in generosity as I observe your own open-handedness in my life. Instead of storing up a wealth that moss and rust could destroy, may I delight in liberally giving to those who are in need. Let my heart always be grateful for your provision, never taking it for granted. You are indescribably good to your children. I am so thankful. What characteristics of God brings joy today well guys that's that's it that's all that i have to show for this video um i am fixing to be starting also starting on another amigurumi of uh, one of the zodiac dolls so i'll keep you updated on that one as well um oh yeah and i am going to show off um you know i told you that one of my patterns is going to be in crochet world magazine in february and I thought maybe I would show you the shawl. So I'll probably show that to you one day next week as well. And um, I'm thinking about making a couple of them and selling them on Etsy um, as well. So uh, look forward to that next week. It's going to be another busy crochet week. <laughs> so happy crocheting. Uh, have fun over the weekend. And just remember to live life, have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.